Hey guys, what's going on? Thank you so much for watching. Welcome back to Winfill Zoo, our franchise zoo that we've had going on for a little while now, playing in hard mode. And in the last episode, we added our cougars on this side, uh, coupled with the snow leopards on the other side. You guys had some great feedback as far as what to do about this and then just the overall aesthetic of the habitat. So thank you guys so much as always for the feedback left down in the comment section below. You might be wondering why I have it paused to start off with, and that's because the game, for whatever reason, thinks that this cougar, this one right here, is a dangerous animal that has escaped. If you can see, some of the guests are uh, running for their lives, if I unpause it, because they're terrified that this cougar right here has escaped its habitat despite the fact that the barrier is completely intact all the way around. Absolutely no breaks in the barrier whatsoever because I checked before I started recording and I don't know why the game feels this way. So the alert has gone away, but I still am getting the negative uh, side effects from guests thinking that I've let a cougar out on them. So that's how we're gonna start the episode today. Welcome. We only have one little notification over here. This is gonna be vet research. Uh, you guys pointed out to me very rightfully so that I'm a dummy and I hired three more vets, but we only have one research facility. So even though I have more than one vet, I'm not gonna be able to do more research because I don't have a bigger research facility. So that's what I wanna put down right now. And I'm actually wondering if, if I kind of rotate this through and see if I can't fit it on the inside of here. I don't actually remember what I have on the inside of here. So, oh, dang it, that's right. I did kind of fill up this building, huh? We, we are gonna have to come up with plan B. So that is not gonna work right there. We are going to have to put this somewhere else. So what I'm thinking is maybe we just, um, I don't wanna put it in the center of here because I need the room. I have plans that we'll get to over there. So maybe we'll just kind of put this back off over to the side over here and run a path. And that's just where it'll stay uh, for now. That way we can get ahead of the research and get going on some of those animals that still need, uh, still need some of that research. Since like I said, I am a dummy. Uh, can we please angle snap this and also make it a little longer so I don't have to do it one at a time. And let me actually, my mouse is going crazy here. I accidentally changed the settings on it. There we go. And it was like super sensitive and flying across the screen on me. Uh, no bueno, <laughs> cannot operate my computer that way. Okay, so that should hopefully fix that. Now onward to, actually, if I unpause it, are you guys gonna stop freaking out? Cause the dangerous animal uh, was never actually escaped. No, you guys are gonna still run. Okay, well, maybe they're just getting their cardio in for the day. No judgment. If you want to get your cardio in at a zoo, go for it. Plans for today. What I want to do, I went through and I have a list of doll sheep, moose, fallow deer, bison, pronghorn, reindeer, and ibex. Of those, the pronghorn are shy. Everybody else is neutral except for the ibex and the moose. So because of that, what I want to do is I want to move the reindeer to this side over here, this brand new habitat. I want to expand this habitat basically out exactly to this path, make it a little bit bigger. Right now you can see it is... Uh, about a thousand meters squared and two adult moose need about 1100 meters squared. So we're almost there. So I am confident that if I kind of push this out, I can squeeze enough room in there to have a couple of moose in here. And then hopefully the reindeer will be a little bit happier here designing the habitat in that I want this part to be viewable right here. Um, and then as they kind of go back, their shelter will be over here. This will be more of like a hidden part. So we get them like a half, half habitat. So hopefully that will be, <gasps> we had a baby. Hopefully that will be enough to make them not so stressed being like the very first animal that you walk in and see. Oh, look. 
We haven't looked at one of the babies in the Winfield Zoo. I remember we would go see them all the time. Can you come here, please? I'm trying to admire you. Look! The little face and the little horns. Aw, you're adorable. Anyway, interrupting my plans there, little uh, Dor Dorina? Dorina? Sure. Sure, Dorina. Okay, awesome. Vet research complete. Fantastic. We have more bison research. That's awesome. Getting through those animals. Perfect. So yeah, so that's what I thought today. Today we'll be adding the moose. We'll be moving this around. And then what I thought too, because this definitely isn't like done, like completed done. Why is there such a traffic jam right here? This is such a thick path, but they like insist. Why are you viewing them through the rock? That could be part of the problem. Anyway, uh, I want to stream this on Sunday. So this coming Sunday, uh, I'm going to push it back an hour to 10 a.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. We'll stream and we'll kind of work on this area a little bit. Maybe the entrance. Maybe we'll add something new. I don't know. But we'll we'll stream. We'll place a bunch of rocks. This needs a whole bunch more rocks over the bottom of the water and all that kind of stuff. So that's the plan for that. Now, I want to double check this because this popped up. Ah, more research. Look at that. Now that we have a research facility that can accommodate the vets, we have four vets flying by, doing great. Okay, so without further ado, I want to go ahead and jump into our time lapse this time, basically straight away. Uh, so I don't want to, uh, why low welfare? Social? Do you, what? Stressed? How? You guys are supposed to be like confident with guests. I don't understand. Maybe, I mean, they do have places to hide. They can definitely go up in there, right? Because that is traversable for them. Yeah, they can 100% go up in there. So I don't understand uh, why they don't. Maybe, um, did I make this all one group? I did, how convenient. If I kind of rotate this and maybe push it back away a little bit, that might help. That way, I mean, their climbing structure is kind of like right in front of everybody. I would expect if they really didn't want to be on there, though, that they would go somewhere else. But maybe they're not that smart. Who knows? So maybe that'll help. Let's see. Going back here, your stress should be lowering. Let's see. Yeah, so all the way back there, your stress should be lowering because you're far enough away. You just need to not hang out like right in front of every... There you go, climb a tree. Solves all your problems. Fantastic. Okay, animal stressed, animal stressed. The pronghorns, no, no surprise there. Shocker. I'm going to pause it before anything else bad happens. <laughs> Let's go ahead and jump into the time lapse. Let's get started. All right, guys. So very quick and easy little time lapse here. And I do mean that this time. I think it's only like four or five minutes long. Um, but we basically get everybody where they're supposed to be. So the reindeer habitat is what we're working on now, like I mentioned. And this is going to be a lot of the same. Um, I really wanted to get this little project kind of wrapped up because I'm kind of ready to move on to other things in Winfill Zoo. Um, the start of this zoo has been a little bit repetitive for me and it's kind of messing with my creative inspiration um, just because it's a lot of the same and with all the hoofstock and I'm really liking how the project is turning out. I think it is still a good idea and I'm happy that we did it but um, building for the same types of animals over and over and over again has really kind of made me struggle a little bit like I said with my creativity. That and Winfield Zoo has been kind of a pain in the butt recently just with the gameplay and the um, way that it's running on my computer. I don't know what it is. No other project uh, in Planet Zoo I'm having like freezing problems or uh, lagging problems, but Winfield Zoo is for whatever reason, and I'm like I said, not entirely sure. There's a lot of rocks in this project, but there's not a lot of tiny pieces, so I really don't know what it could be but I I honestly I'm the type of person I really don't have a lot of patience for that and when the game starts to kind of freeze or glitch or jump or do any of the things that it's doing to me I just have no motivation to play in it so I'm hoping that uh, over the weekend we can get in and do a stream and build in Winfield Zoo and it'll be a little bit better and we won't have so many problems with it but 
I'm worried that uh, that we will. And so I'll just have to kind of figure out what I want to do about that, how we want to do, uh, how we want to go forward with the project if I can't figure out a good, um, a good solution. It just, when I'm building, there's just something about like the way the mouse moves and it kind of, um, it'll like zoom across the screen randomly on me, like all the way across to the other side of the map. Um, my mouse will move like really slow, but then really fast. Um, and I'm just not, I'm not entirely sure what's going on. Um, I was able to build, if you guys did miss it, the speed build that came out uh, yesterday of the start of the African restaurant. That one was totally fine. I had no problems with my computer. My mouse was all running fine, uh, but this, this project is having problems. So I'm not sure if it has to do with the fact that it's franchise and it's connected to the internet uh, or what, but hopefully, fingers crossed, I can find a solution. But as you can see in this time lapse again, just copying and pasting a whole bunch of stuff over um, the moose we do end up getting in the habitat. You'll see after the time lapse is over, we do have to go through and kind of make some adjustments because it wasn't quite as big as I was hoping it would be. Uh, the habitat that is, not the moose. <laughs> we end up only getting one moose in there, otherwise there was just not enough space. Um, but you know, it works out. Hopefully they'll be a lot happier in the front section there being that they're confident with guests and we won't have so much uh, stressy problems because that was another thing that was really taking away my motivation. I love building in Planet Zoo. I love playing Planet Zoo, but when it comes down to like how stressed the animals get with the guests, I just, uh, it takes, it takes the wind out of me. It takes the motivation out of me because I just, that's not how it would be, right? The animals would not be that stressed that easily, uh, making accommodations for them to have places to hide. You know, real zoos would take them either on or off exhibit, depending on, you know, if they were getting a little stressed, stuff like that. So that also just kind of demotivates me when it's like, oh, I build this wonderful habitat and I love how it looks and then it doesn't function in the game, which is another reason why building in sand box is definitely my preferred uh, preferred place to build. But like I said, hopefully making these changes uh, will help with that and make sure that all the animals are happy. Um, we go through and do a little check on all the animals after we're done, except for the Arctic foxes. I actually just realized that we completely forget about them, so I'll have to remember them for next episode. Um, but we're nearing the little end of the, or nearing the end of the little time lapse here. <laughs> and we're gonna jump back into some gameplay. Um, I have no idea actually on what animal to add next. So if you have any ideas, please do let me know. Um, and, and yeah, that's really all I have to say about, about the time lapse. We have just a couple minutes here, not a couple minutes. We have a couple seconds here <laughs> of, uh, just some copying and pasting some stuff over. Oh yeah. I do end up throwing some like restrooms down because I think I realized that there was no bathrooms anywhere in the zoo. And I'm really surprised that guests haven't complained yet. Uh, and trash cans are probably something I'll need more of, uh, in the near future. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump back to real time. And just like that, our hoofstock circle, I guess it's not really a circle, uh, is more or less complete. So very quick time lapse. I know I probably talked about it in the time lapse, but hopefully this uh, will get the job done as far as keeping our reindeer a little bit less stressy. They have the basically this whole two thirds of the habitat to kind of hang out over here away from people. They have their big main shelter over here with a little bit down over here. I know the guests are not going to get the best views of them, but honestly, if this keeps them from complaining, I am all happy about that. So uh, we have a fallow deer that's about to mature. First things first, what I want to do is I want to go to animal trading and I want to look for some mises moose right here. Great. Thank you. And let's see, I just want one female and one male, uh, not from the same zoo though. So this is from Badger Sanctuary, Badger Sanctuary. So those guys I do not want. However, I do kind of want this male though. He's gold star and, uh, only three and a half years old. So we'll go ahead and get him. Now we need a female female. That one could work because it's from Frontier Zoo. These guys are way too expensive. You're too expensive. Um, let's see. Is there anybody on the next page? <gasps> 
too bad we can't afford him and we can't afford you. So it looks like we have the option of this female and that's it, which is not a bad option. So let's go ahead and get that one. Go to our storage, double click on both of these, go ahead and send them to our zoo and I'll hit play and then we can make sure that they are nice and happy in here. I know I've got some um, alerts over there, which is what we're gonna take a look at next. And then I also wanna kinda just do a round and double check that all of our animals are happy because I really haven't checked on them. They have been breeding. I wanna make sure we don't have any inbreeding or too many animals or anything like that going on. Uh, so navigable swimming area. Hmm, that's something that I did not take into account. Um, and it looks like they also have a really small amount of land. This is going to give us a whole new set of issues, is it now? Hard shelter's low. All right, well, I was not aware that they actually needed some swimming area. Let's go ahead and grab you and bring you over here. And then I think I can move this one too out of the way because I think the easiest thing to do is if I can put their um, swimming down there. I don't know if we're going to be able to do, I was talking about when we first did this habitat, doing like a um, gate in between all of the habitats. I don't know if we're going to be able to do that now because I got to put that there. I mean, maybe still we can do that. Put that there. Let's move this over here. Hopefully we'll still have time this episode to kind of do a round with everybody. Let's see if we can go to terrain and if water will even place here. It will. Oh, wow. It goes all the way over there. Um, okay. That's not that bad. Let's see though, because it's probably got to be a little bit deeper. Let's go a little bit deeper like that. And then we can really push this back and get some sort of swimming area. Clearly that should hopefully be enough with the moose that's floating in the air. Maybe we push this back uh, if we can. Oh, dang it, I hate that. Uh, I left these all in one group. <laughs> Let's go ahead and fix that right now. I'm such an annoying builder. All right, will that work? And unselect that, okay, great. Just want to slide just this one little thing back and up a bit so it's right on the edge of the water. This needs to move because it's not going to be a plant that grows in water. This can probably move as well because I want it on the dry land side over here. Raise it up just a bit so it's peeking through. And then we can move, let's get you just out of the group. That way it's easy and move you to right there I think and now let's see what it looks like if we put if we put some water in here the only problem is is I am worried that like that looks great to me but I'm worried that now they don't have enough land uh, which is a problem so let's see can I actually put this anywhere over here okay great and then I don't want grass growing in here so let's delete you and then to be honest, if they're confident around guests, I can probably delete that. Let's see. So if I hit play, oh, we're going to box up. Of course we are. Is there grass down here? There is. Let me move this just so it's not growing underwater. We can put it on the edge of the water though. There we go. Put that there. Now, moment of truth. Oh, I think it made it worse. <laughs> Can we pause? Yeah, so, okay, so that's that's a lot more water than they need. Okay, it's all right. It's not ruined yet. This is just, that was just a lot. So let's get rid of the water and let's actually just flatten this part here and get rid of this section of water. And hopefully, yeah, we'll kind of bring it, bring it like that a little bit. Sure, let's see if that helps. Uh, yeah, I do want the water up to that level because we can make it look pretty. Okay, very cool. We're going to have to adjust this because we've got plants that shouldn't be growing underwater, growing underwater. Move you over there. Let's see. Did that help at all? Should hopefully help just a little bit. Calculating. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, then they don't actually need as much water as I was thinking they do, but that's better. It's better. We're, we're on the right track here, so I'll probably actually get rid of all of this then. 
Uh, terrain, again, get rid of the water. Level this out to, ooh, I don't like that. Let's get rid of that again. Um, you know what? Let's see, can I get that? Yeah, right up to the edge, I think, there is great. And then maybe if I can do this kind of thing around the edge, it might do a lower water uh, level, but that'll be okay. Bring this all up like that. And then that can just be their water. Let's see, uh, valid, where's the line? So let's see, that's, oh, not that. That is definitely too much water. Hmm, okay, hold on. We don't wanna do that then. So let's get rid of the leveling that I just did. We're gonna keep it at the same level. Goodness, I swear, hopefully you guys can't hear it too much, but my neighbor's dogs only decide to go, I mean, that's a lie. They go crazy barking all of the time. Um, but the majority of the time is when I'm trying to record. It drives me insane. It really does. And I love dogs so much, but the constant barking is just such a nuisance when I have to try to record around it. Okay. Uh, complaining aside, let's see, did that help? We will definitely make this prettier, trust me, um, because the jagged edges of the terrain and stuff is bothering me as well. So don't worry if it's bothering you. Did that help at all? I think it, I think it did. I forget what the numbers were before. But let's see, space. And then if we just fix hard shelter, can I get them happy enough to, I because th I think this needs to go up higher just because you guys are big. Does that, does that help your hard shelter? 60%, let's see. If I raise this up and raise this up. I think I might need a new, uh, n another shelter in addition. Oh no, look, okay, great. So now their hard shelter is fantastic. We obviously need to make it not floating in the air. Um, ugh, space is still a problem. Let's see. Uh oh, go away, please. I'll figure you out in a second. Um, 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 um. I'm a little stuck on this one in knowing what we can do to help them. The only thing I can think of is to combine these two habitats and move the deer somewhere else. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. So for now, what if for now we do this? We put you uh, in storage. Yeah, trade center. For some reason, I thought that was the button that like traded them away. Does that make you happy enough? Okay. So that makes him happy enough. So having just one. So for now, we're just going to have male moose. That's it. Cool. All right. Let's take care of what the heck is happening over here. So snow leopard is stressed. Pronghorns are stressed. Follow deer has attracted protesters. Why is... Oh, because you're in a box. That is probably why. There we go. Your welfare is 90%. Great. So that fixed that. You're stressed. Uh, why? Go into your, go into your thing over there. Just go into the cave. That's the whole reason why I gave it to you. Oh, is there, did we, we had babies and I wasn't even paying attention. Look at the little guys. I knew that they were trying, like they had made it a couple times, but it didn't work the first time we watched on the last episode, but now it did. Very cool. So we have, ooh, and it's a gold ribbon one. So little girl and I want you and not the bush and another gold little boy. Very cool. Okay. Well, their stress is going back uh, down. So that's great. I'm thinking, um, you know what? We didn't put the little uh, shush be quiet signs. Are they? Oh man, now I'm going to totally forget where they are again. I suck at remembering this. <laughs> I'm so bad at remembering where these things are because I never use them unless it's in franchise. Uh, small animal exhibits, no. Bench has been security. That's right, security. Yes. Okay. 
So let's sink some of these little thingies down and make sure that people aren't being super loud and obnoxious right in front of the snow leopards. There, there, oh, that one's not in the ground and that would bother me. I know it would bother some of you too, so I fixed it, it's okay. And then let's go ahead and put them around this side as well, just to kind of help, because the one cougar was having some stressy problems at the beginning of the episode. So we'll go ahead and do that. Oh, and I, you know what I didn't do either? Is I didn't change the education on here. This still says reindeer, and I know it's gonna yell at me for that if I don't actually fix that. So let's go to moose and moose that way people are learning about the correct thing and they don't get angry we're not teaching people that moose look like reindeer uh welfare has attracted protesters it should be fine now so can you just go away that would be great thank you and what's this vet research is complete uh-oh hello okay <sighs> heart attack it froze for a second there i thought it was gonna crash um i'm gonna save my game <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why it's being a little buggy today, but let's save just in case because that would be the last thing I want to happen. <sighs> you know that like feeling when your your heart drops and you're playing a game and it like freezes for a second and you're like, please, no, I just put all this work into it. <laughs> That's how I felt. Uh, fighting for alpha status. Okay, so this is what I want to do here. Let's pause it because clearly these guys are upset. Let's take a look at all of the pronghorn antelope. Can we increase, we can increase the quality of food. Great. Now we have a couple males. What does this mean? You're hungry. Uh, we have a couple females, few males. So you go ahead and go to storage because I'm assuming that is uh, the sun, right? I'm assuming, yeah, because it's much younger. I'm assuming that's the sun. Okay. Now, Winter and Sophia. Winter and Sophia shouldn't. Yeah, so that's Winter. Where is Sophia? Parents. Hello. Okay, so they're fine to breed with him still. And then those are the offspring. So I'll have to take a look at him. I'm pretty sure there's still only two bison. You guys haven't had children yet or have you? Oh, you have. You had little Abigail. That's right. Very cute. Okay, cool. You guys I know are fine because I just moved you over. So there's only three of you. The Ibex, look at this. The Ibex are just perfect little, perfect little angels, happy in their tiny little habitat here. Uh, hopefully I say that before I check. Their space is getting a little tight, but welfare overall is good. So that's awesome. Baby is nice and happy. It's a little silver, um, silver ribbon, which is cool. Let's check on these guys because there are quite a few of them in here. Let's pause because I can see one, two, three, four, and then five. So we have four females, one male, I think. And who are your babies? Three of them. Sophia, uh, Milka, and Megan. Sophia, Milka, and Megan. Are they in the habitat? Sophia, that's Milka, Megan and Sophia. So they are, they're all on contraceptives. And then this is Rosemary, the mom. Okay. Well, cool. They're all still happy. We'll leave these guys in there. Um, and hopefully we'll get one more batch of babies out of these guys. Um, and then we might have to kind of retire him because it's going to be a, a male centric herd here. We're only going to have one male, one male there. Uh, the moose is happy swimming along. And then let's see, so these guys I know were stressy, but they still should have just enough space with four of them. They need a little bit more snow. So let's go ahead and add that along the side here. That should be plenty for them. Perfect, okay, great. And then I'm pretty sure the cougars have not had any babies. They should only be just those two. Just those two. Hello? Yes. Okay. Just those two. No children. Fantastic. Fantastic, I think. Okay, cool. Well, let me hit play. I'm, this zoo, more than Tolly Zoo, has just made me afraid to hit the play button. <laughs> I thought the lemurs were bad, man. All these stressy hoofstock in a circle. <sighs> I need to plan better. Okay. Well, vet research. Great. Fantastic. And I think, honestly, you guys, oh, 
God, I need to give my computer a break. It's freezing up on me. So before I lose any progress, before I get to a crash, before anything bad happens, I think I'm gonna sign off. Um, hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the episode, I do plan to stream and build a little bit more in this park on Sunday. So hopefully I'll see you guys there, probably 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. It'll be scheduled on the channel so you'll be able to see when it will be uh, happening. But yeah, any comments or feedback uh, down below in the comments is always appreciated. Leave a like if you did enjoy the video and subscribe, of course, if you want to keep up with the progress of Winfield Zoo and any of my other projects. Um, as always, I'm also on Twitter, Discord, TikTok, and Instagram if you want to follow me elsewhere. And until next time, I will talk at you in the next video. Bye!